Well, it's 4th of July weekend. I've got a long weekend and uh, gonna get a lot of work done on B-Split, I hope. Um, we do have a lot of rain that's supposed to be coming over the weekend. It's Friday, so it's not supposed to be here till tonight. So that means I really gotta get my act together and get a lot done on B-Split. Uh, you saw the last couple episodes, I'm just trying to get some stuff ready for it. Uh, and today, I'm gonna clean off the engine bay as much as possible. Uh, and I'm gonna use a pressure washer for that and some other things and we'll see how far we get. The intake manifold's ready to come off. I've got a new one for it ready. Um, so I still have a couple things to do, uh, but we're gonna get right after it. So happy Independence Day, everybody that lives in the States. And, um, and don't be that guy that says, Independence was signed on the second or whatever it was. Just, it's July 4th weekend. Let's, let's, uh, let's be thankful we live in a great country we have a lot of freedoms. Anyway, let's get to it. Real quick, I want to show that I've covered up the distributor, even though I'm going to pull that later. Um, covered up the intake ports for the carburetor and covered up the crank snout because I don't want a whole lot of motor getting in the motor. I should probably cover up that too, you think? Um, so I'll do that real quick and then, uh, and then we'll get to Spraying this thing down with some purple cleaner and and get after it. I tried to spray it off as much as I could with my little air nozzle. And it looks pretty good in here. The steering is a lot cleaner. The power steering is a lot cleaner. And uh, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to get the point just taking off some things off this intake manifold. Uh, some of it's just necessity. Like this vacuum port. Very good. <coughs> I'm going to reuse this. So, If you remember the other day, or a couple episodes ago, I put the timing chain on. I have not moved that. It is still at top dead center. I've actually already verified with the crank and the timing pointer on the front of the uh, deal there. So I don't care where this is pointing. It does not matter to me at all. I, all I care about is I'm going to get it off. Okay. There's my hole down. Pull this sucker out. Very nice. Again, I don't care where it was pointing because we're going to re-stab it when we put the new intake manifold on. Okay. Got the timing chain, taped off, fuel pump, a little bit of the bracket for the tire steering. Uh, I'm not removing the intake manifold yet because I want to paint it first. Before I paint this area of the block, just some glass cleaner because it's got some alcohol in it. It's a good prep. So, gonna spray it and wipe it off. Definitely not too difficult of a task. Alright, time to spray. Now we let it 
let it get tacky and we'll do it again. All right, got two coats on there. So um, now let's get this valve covers off. Let's get this intake manifold off while this paint's drying. Okay, so we're starting to get a couple wins here on B split and uh, paint's dried, two coats, that's all I put on it. And I threw the valve covers on it just to uh, cover up um, from dust and stuff like that. But check this out. This motor is a lot more fresh than I thought it was. It's so interesting that there was such a used or old beat up uh, timing chain on it. But this thing looks fantastic. If you look down in the valley, super, super clean. It hasn't had a lot of cycles on it since it was rebuilt. So that's really, really good. I mean, even the rocker arms and everything look nice. Um, but check it out. It's looking fantastic. And um, getting a lot closer. I got a couple more things I want to do uh, in this video. I want to put the intake manifold on which is not too big of a deal and I want to put the balancer on after I stab the distributor so I'm gonna work on that here I've got to go get a tool to install the balancer and um, I think that's pretty much it I gotta clean up the pointer as well which is right over here somewhere it's starting to get pretty hot out and it's only 10 30 in the morning there's there it is so I gotta clean this guy up which is not gonna be too big of a deal so yeah we're gonna um gonna get it done here i am super stoked with how this is coming out and uh hopefully we'll get it a little bit closer to running i'll show you guys how to put that balancer on and stab the distributor and then uh i think i think we'll be good for the day so let me go get the tools and some lunch i just got the uh surface cleaned off of the uh, for the intake manifold so it's ready to go nice and clean like i said that valley looks fantastic um so let me show you how we prepare the uh intake manifold gaskets and i got them right here now so see i painted the water pump let me show you guys what to do here or at least what I do here. So get these guys ready. Just pull them out. And you take all this stuff. Wait, not all of it. You take that back. Keep this, right? You throw all this away. And you keep these. And we're gonna run a bead of silicone on the front and the back of the valley because those rubber gasket things don't do anything. So you run a good thick bead here and in between here on front and back. And I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll get ready to place the uh, intake now full panel. All right, that looks good. Intake manifold gaskets are in place. Try to get it down. There we go. All right, I wasn't quite prepared as I should have been for this. Um, that's okay. I didn't have, have my bolts ready. They're ready now, and I'm gonna 
I'm just going to get this intake tight because I want to get everything to start sealing and everything in place. Um, so these are going to come back out and one of the reasons for that is they need to be sealed because there are some open galley ports for oil passages and when, if that's the case, oil can come up through the threads and they pull on the intake. And it's not fun. So, I'm going to get all these in that I can. And then we'll come back and we'll come back and get them tightened up. Okay. This is a bracket that I got with the truck that goes to the AC and it needs to be installed on here just like that and I'm gonna final install these bolts so I'm gonna take a little RTV on the end here and I'm just a little bit and that way oil can't come up seep up through them so let me, uh, should probably put them through here first before I do all that there we go and now we have AC bracket on. I'm going to do the same thing and put RTV on all the remaining bolts. Um, yeah. Alright guys. Here comes the moment of truth. So if you remember on that other video, I know I've said this before, this motor's at top dead center on the first piston, which is on driver's side, very front. I just cleaned up the distributor a bit. I put a new gasket on it right there and a new rotor. And now I'm gonna place it down in here carefully, but I am not ready to let it go all the way down yet. I wanna take I want to make sure a couple things. One, I want the vacuum advance facing the passenger side. And then I want this distributor to face the number one piston. Which, I just put it in and it obviously does not. So I need to pull it all the way back out. And move it around until it gets where I need it to. That's not bad in there. But it's Oh, all the way down now. Keep trying this. I think that's going to be it right there. So, I've got to show you guys something. Alright, so I kind of got it where I want it pointing. It's going to turn some more here in a little bit. But, if you look, there's still a gap between the distributor and the intake manifold. Kind of hard to see but i'm not concerned about that because that has to do with the oil pump lineup right now it's in the splines on the camshaft so it's not going to move what's going to take that gap up is when i rotate the motor and the distributor finally falls down into place to do that i need to install the harmonic dampener which i just got the tools for so let me go get them and we'll get started on that It's hot. It's hot and I'm tired. We're not gonna give up. Still got a lot to do. All right. This is the crank bolt. It goes into the crank, holds the harmonic balancer on. And there's a bunch of different adapters here. So I'm just matching up the threads. You know, they match pretty good. So I know this is my deal. So to put this thing together, you pull the big sleeve out slap this little guy in there right and then you run this bolt in all the way okay just like that
Oh damn. Nine sixteenths on there. Then I'm barely gonna put this on, but you put this big nut on, and then this is a bearing. Next step is this is the harmonic balancer. We're gonna go ahead and put it in place. I've greased the inside of this, by the way. Um, we just want it to kind of go on as much as it can. I just installed the pointer. I had forgotten to do that. Actually, just kind of bending it to try to get it aligned with my timing mark. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, this thing that we assembled earlier, let's get it in place and get it threaded up. Okay, so here's how the rest of this works. You take this wrench, this one happens to be an inch and a quarter, and you're gonna tighten it while you hold this side still, which is a 916. And fighting something so ready to be done with this <laughs> this is the bolts for um, the crank and it pulled a couple threads out and it's, you know it's not fantastic I was able to get a tap through it and clean up the threads in the crank but I think I'm gonna have to get a little bit of a longer crank bolt so there's that so I'm gonna fix that a little bit later I gotta go to the hardware store and find a bolt that's gonna work but just checking on some things and uh, well I'm pretty sure harmonic balancer is good to go put on there I got my little crank tool on there and I want to show you something remember I was telling y'all I know there's a gap between the distributor and the intake manifold all I'm gonna do now is rotate the motor over you can see the rotors moving right Whoop, there it goes fell right back down into place so that's where the uh, oil pump uh, was I'm gonna move it back to where we're back at TDC and uh, there we go Well, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of noise. All right. So, exactly what I was wanting. So, if you look at that rotor, it's now facing this number one cylinder here, and you can see we are at top dead center there. It's kind of hard to focus on it, but the distributor is stabbed. Um, I'm going to figure out this crank situation off camera. I think I've got it fixed. But, uh, man, we're making good, good progress. Good, good progress. There's still a lot left to do. But, wanted to go over what I could get done today and stabbing that uh, distributor in and getting the motor looking pretty good. So, I think we're about one video away from this thing running. Thanks for following along this uh, B-Split adventure. If you like the C10 stuff, if you like the Dakota stuff, whatever you like. If it's on our channel and you dig it, please uh, please subscribe. You know, if, if you learn something, please subscribe. Or I don't know, just if you like what's going on. Um, we really appreciate everybody who takes the time out of their day to watch these videos. And uh, you guys mean a lot to us. We're over a thousand subscribers and we got a really cool video coming up for that. So stay tuned. As always, y'all be good.